I would like to welcome you to the presentation about event-based asynchronous sparse convolutional networks. My name is Nico Messekommer and I'm happy to present to you the work of Daniel Gerig, Antonio Locuercio, Davide Scaramuzza and me. Event cameras are bio-inspired vision sensors that operate radically differently from standard cameras, as you can see in the animation on the right. Instead of capturing dense brightness images at a fixed rate, event cameras process the incoming light by measuring the brightness changes at each pixel independently, thereby discarding redundant visual information. If the brightness change at one pixel exceeds a threshold, an event is triggered at that location. The resulting event stream has a much higher temporal resolution compared to the output of a standard camera. Due to their operation principle, event cameras possess several amazing properties such as high dynamic range, low power consumption and high temporal resolution. In addition, due to their high temporal resolution, event cameras do not suffer from motion blur. Event cameras have gained popularity in recent years due to their outstanding properties, especially in edge case scenarios, which include high dynamic range scenes and high speed motions. For this reason, several learning based approaches using event cameras have been proposed, such as flow estimation, depth estimation and reconstruction of high speed and high dynamic range videos. The processing of asynchronous event streams remains a key question for event based algorithms. Special consideration is needed as the events generated by an event camera differ in many ways to a standard RGB image. As can be observed in the animation, events generated by an event camera are both sparse in space and time. However, state-of-the-art dense learning methods commonly discard the sparsity and process the events in an image-like representation. By converting events into image-like representations, Dense learning methods can take advantage of existing deep learning architectures and techniques. Hence, they can leverage several years of computer vision research to achieve state-of-the-art performance on multiple tasks. However, the conventional way of processing events as images has two major drawbacks. First, standard methods process all pixels, even those that did not trigger any events. Second, for each new event, the network activations for all pixels and layers need to be recomputed, even if most input pixels did not change. Therefore, it is crucial for event-based algorithms to account for the spatio-temporal sparsity of events in order to increase the computational efficiency. In this work, we present a general framework for converting standard CNNs applied to synchronous image-like event representations into asynchronous sparse CNNs thus directly leveraging the intrinsic spatial temporal sparsity of event data. Our proposed framework consists of two parts. First, asynchronous update rules are formulated to update only neurons which contain a new incoming event in the receptive field. By using local update rules and propagating the network state, redundant update operations are avoided. Second, we apply submanifold sparse convolutions that directly leverage the spatial sparsity of events. On the bottom left, you can see the operation principle of standard convolutions. They generate an output for each pixel in the image by computing the kernel weighted sum over the full receptive field, which is visualized as a green square. In contrast, sparse convolutions only generate an output at pixels with a non-zero input vector which are also called active sites. Additionally, they ignore input pixels in the receptive field, which have a zero vector at the input, thus only focusing on active sites visualized in green. Therefore, submanifold sparse convolutions can leverage the sparsity of event data, which leads to a drastic reduction in computational complexity compared to standard convolutions. We illustrate the effect of local update rules in the scenario where a single new event arrives at the input. In order to generate a prediction corresponding to the most recent event, standard approaches need to recompute the network activation for each pixel in each layer. Our local update rules take advantage of the local change in the input to only update pixels which have the new event in their receptive field, thereby dramatically reducing computation. The animation shows the propagation of the update sites marked in green through a network. 
As can be observed, the receptive field and thus the pixels required to be updated becomes larger the deeper the layer is located in the network. By using sparse convolutions, we can further decrease the number of pixels that need to be updated. This selective updating of sites leads to a drastic reduction of operations required for processing a new incoming event. In general, the number of floating point operations required by our local update rules depends on the kernel size and the network depth. For standard CNNs, the update sites grow quadratically with the network depth. In contrast, a sparse CNN only considers non-zero input sites and thus can leverage the fractal dimension of event data, which is an intrinsic property describing the growth rate of update sites. In this work, we characterize the fractal dimension of event data and show that the growth in computational complexity of our method is upper bounded by the fractal dimension. This highlights the fact that event data exists in a submanifold of the image plane, which has a lower dimension than two. We validate our framework on two common computer vision tasks evaluated on three different data sets. As a computational complexity measure, we compute the number of flops required for obtaining a new prediction based on a new event in the input. For the task of object recognition, our method uses up to 50 times less flops than dense CNNs with comparable performance. Compared to the state-of-the-art asynchronous methods, our method achieves an up to 4.3% higher accuracy without sacrificing the ability to process the events asynchronously. For the task of object detection, our method requires up to 18 times less flops and achieves a 24.5 higher mean average precision score than the asynchronous state-of-the-art method. To summarize, with this work we have proposed a new framework for leveraging the spatio-temporal sparsity of event data. We show that the upper bound on the computational complexity is related to the intrinsic fractal dimension of event data. Finally, we validate our framework on two tasks, apply to three datasets and show an up to 20 times reduction in computational complexity with respect to standard CNNs without sacrificing performance. In conclusion, our proposed framework makes an important step towards low latency and high accuracy event vision algorithms. Future efforts will be dedicated to implementing our sparse asynchronous CNNs into FPGA which will enable sub-millisecond latency and over 10 times reduction in power consumption compared to general purpose embedded PCs. Please check out our code on GitHub.